Despite the slowdown, this small company is still more than doubling its sales year over year during the first half of 2022. As a result of its rapid expansion, Sentinel One is also making steady progress towards a turning a profit. Hello, my name is Mark Janelle Jr. and today I'm going to discuss the top performing tech stocks and ETFs of 2022 and beyond. You want some place to put your money to work, especially in the times that we are in? Inflation, recession, potential depression, all of this, you're going to want to watch. I'm going to discuss the top performing tech stocks and ETFs so you can put your money to work and sleep soundly. Okay, so let's get right into these tech stocks. This is courtesy of The Motley Fool. As cloud computing has quickly grown into an industry worth hundreds of billions per year, sales of security software that's cloud native built in and for the cloud have skyrocketed. These leaders in the space have some of the most long-term potential. But trust me, these are performing high in 2022 and beyond. Number one, we have CrowdStrike Holdings, which is a cloud native software company, uh, which provides endpoint security protection for devices such as laptops, PCs and servers and other devices connected to a network because of its cloud base, because it's cloud based CrowdStrike is particularly well suited for supporting remote work. CrowdStrike software uses machine learning, which is a type of artificial intelligence, to detect security breaches and hunt down threats. It's also easy to, easy to deploy to the millions of people working from home and the billions of machines connected to the internet. The company has steadily increased the number of mo uh, modules on its platform to help its customers and its new integration agreements with other tech companies to make data protection more consistent across an organization's IT infrastructure. So what do you think about CrowdStrike? Number two, we have Zscaler, another cloud native security vendor, uh, Zscaler, works in tandem with endpoint security uh, services to help keep data secure. The company has been increasing its sales at a rapid pace and is another of the largest pure play cybersecurity stocks as measured by market cap, even though the stock itself has sold off some 50% in 2022. Zscaler got started with uh, a software as a service product designed for cloud computing protection, but it has since added new internet security and end user monitoring products. End user monitoring is increasing with so many people now working from home and with global spending on cloud computing expected to exceed 1 trillion annually. This decade, Zscaler is well positioned to profit from this massive uh, secular growth trend. 3. Okta Okta is a pioneer of identity and access management, which rethinks traditional security by using what's called zero trust architecture. This type of identity management consistently requires verification of a user before allowing access to data and applications. If legacy security is a castle with a wall and a moat, then zero trust security acts more like a counter spy agency. It is, increasing, it is an increasingly mobile and cloud-based world. Okta's identity management and software has been in high demand. Businesses often have a complicated web of stakeholders, including employees, third-party contractors, suppliers, and customers. The sheer size and complexity of web-based applications has driven Okta's growth story and attracted some attention too. Fellow identity management company Forge Rock had a successful public debut in 2021. Okta is firmly in the lead in this branch of security. However, a cyber attack in January 2022 affected two of its customers, helping to accelerate the decline of its stock during the bear market. Even so, Okta remains in growth mode as new customers adopt its software to manage identity and access security. For Sentinel-1, Sentinel-1 is another recent uh, pure play cybersecurity company to be publicly listed. Its initial public offering, IPO, in June 2021, raised $1.2 billion in cash and valued the company at $10 billion, making Sentinel's IPO the largest ever for a cybersecurity company. However, a rough go for the stock market in 2022 and slowing revenue growth at Sentinel-1 has sent the stock below its IPO price. Despite the slowdown, this small company is still more than doubling its sales year over year during the first half of 2022. As a result of its rapid expansion, Sentinel-1 is also making steady progress towards a turning a profit. It operates a cloud-based uh, endpoint 
uh, security platform, which puts in competition with CrowdStrike. Its ability to automatically detect and resolve cybersecurity threats is well is being well received in the market. Number five, and this is not a surprise to any of us, Palo Alto Networks. Hailing from an era that predates cloud technology, Palo Alto Networks' spe uh, specialty is rooted in firewalls, devices that protect tra uh, traffic into and out of physical locations such as offices and data centers. While its legacy services still experience plenty of demand, the real growth is in the cloud. The company's highly profitable platform has helped it to acquire more than a dozen smaller cloud native businesses in the past few years. As a result, Palo Alto Networks has given its security operation a serious makeover. Management says its acquisition spree is over for now and it predicts double digit percentage revenue growth in the years ahead. This steady growth and market leadership has helped make its stock one of the best performers among cybersecurity companies in 2022. Palo Alto Networks is the largest pure play cybersecurity operation by revenue and market cap. Now also a leading cloud security provider, this legacy business is highly competitive in the cybersecurity industry. Shares trade for a relative value uh, compared to its younger higher flying cloud native rivals. Number six, we have Fortinet, another legacy uh, security software provider. Fortinet is one of the largest cybersecurity companies in the world by revenue and market cap. Like its peer, Palo Alto Networks, it maintained a double digit percentage growth and is highly profitable. But unlike Palo Alto Networks acquisition spree, Fortinet has invested in its organic development of cloud security to remain competitive. So that's Fortinet. What do you think about Fortinet? Do you think Fortinet is a better uh, investment than Palo Alto Networks? Please let me know in the comment section below. Now I'm going to cover the top cybersecurity ETFs. If, you, uh, if you'd rather not have to choose among individual cybersecurity stocks, <laughs> you can consider, like myself, uh, you can consider several exchange traded funds, ETFs, that enable in the investors to participate in the growth of cybersecurity industry as a whole. Number one, we have First Trust NASDAQ. Uh, CEA cybersecurity ETF. With a $4.8 billion of assets under management of mid-2022, Trust NASDAQ CEA cybersecurity ETF is the largest of its kind. The ETF is composed of 37 stocks in the cybersecurity industry and has an annual expense ratio of 0.6%, making it an affordable option. Ne number two ETF, we have ETF MG Prime Security, uh, Prime Cybersecurity ETF, also notable in this sector as the ETF MG Prime Cybersecurity ETF. Holding 60 stocks, th this ETF invests in many relatively small companies in the cybersecurity industry. The fund manages 1.5 billion of assets and also has an expense ratio of 0.6%. Number three ETF, we have Global X Cybersecurity ETF. A newcomer to the cybersecurity ETF space, the Global X Cybersecurity ETF launched at the end of 2019. The fund managed 1.1 billion of assets in mid-2022 and has an expense ratio of 0.5%. The Global X Cybersecurity ETF is also more concentrated with only 25 stocks in its portfolio. Since, in, since its inception, the fund has outperformed its competitors on this list. Did I leave anything out? Should I have put anything in? What do you think about the stocks? or the ETFs, the tech stocks or tech ETFs that I talked about. They performed well in 2022 and they have, they had their shares that we saw in some of the stocks. They had went through their battling stages, but they rose up, which is a good sign because some stocks go down and they stay down. These stocks, they fought and they rose, okay? Not only are they performing in 2022, they're expected to perform even better post-2022. Recession's coming. Let me know what you think. I love your viewership. I love you. Stay safe. Hit the notification bell. Hit the subscribe button. You a hack pack. I love you. See you in the next video.